Howdy folks, I'm Jonathan Lyerly with Perfect Pitch Capo and uh, we have with us today Michael Bremer. He's Hello. a friend and fellow musician and uh, Michael was actually the guy who suggested on the capo of having two edges on the tongue that slips under the strings and what that allows you to do <laughs> is to flip the capo over. Now we've had a lot of questions about using the capo up past the second, third fret, fourth, fifth fret, so on. Uh, that little innovation allows you to do that by putting on the capo upside down. And that's what we're going to show today. So, Michael, normally you just a lot of people just use the capo on the second fret or whatever. Mm -hmm. And third's no problem. Some banjos, depending on how your fifth string tuner is mounted, you may be able to put it on the fourth fret in the normal way from the south. Yes. Okay. But if you can't, you can always slide it in from the other side because the tongue goes both ways. Right. Okay. And you can tighten it there. Or you can put it up higher, say on the fifth fret. So if you wanted to play uh, in the key of C out of open G tuning. Okay. There we go. Notice how in tune it is too. So now that gets around the fifth string, obviously. You can't come from the top anyway when you get past the yeah. fifth and sixth fret. Yeah. Okay. Well, that sounds like it works real great. Now, what if you wanted to get crazy and just get way up the neck? I don't, this, is, this is regions where I don't know if it's legal in certain southern it's, states it's certain to play southern, up yeah. here, but uh, we're going to give it a shot. Well, you know, if you don't happen to have a ukulele handy, you can always, uh... Very good. Very good. So there you have it, folks. You can use the capo in the normal way from the top, or you can bring it in from the bottom and get all the way up the neck now. Uh, we do want to mention that we want to mention Michael's book here, and uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about it here? It's called Chords, Chords, Chords. Does that it's, mean it's, it has something to do with chords? It might. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, Banjo GED number one. This is just book number one in the series, and uh, it's a chord system. Instead of memorizing a billion chords, it's a system for helping you find any chord you need whenever you need it. Just enough theory to figure them out, and then the rest is just working from shapes and changing those shapes into the chords you need. Sounds great. Where do you get the book? Why, you can get it at banjoged.com or at amazon.com. All right, and those addresses are right down here in the video. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, well, thanks for sitting in with us today, well, Michael, and we'll see y'all later.